So, on the 26th of January, I uh, displayed a lie by Jeremiah Sturk. It was something he put up in one of his videos, uh, which prompted him to actually delete the video. Since then, he's been on a three, well, now actually four-day crusade, defending himself with threats, insults, and calling me a liar and a slanderer and blah, blah, blah. So that just kind of prompted me to uh, look a little bit deeper. Here's a quick, simple definition of the word lie and what a lie is. Uh, pay particular attention to where it says an intentional untruth. Something that Jeremiah seems to think uh, can be written off as a mistake. Now before I go any further, I just want to make something clear here. I've made a couple of flat earth simulations. When I do so, I try my best to examine the claim as it is claimed. I try to remain true to all the <laughs> available data that supports uh, the claim itself regardless if I agree with the claim or the data itself. I don't just work with my version of it or how I want it to look, because that's how you properly research a claim. In order to discover a fact, you must first be open to the possibility that your original judgment and preconceptions might actually be wrong. And no, I do not consider people of a different opinion as liars. Going through his videos, this is the first one I found. There's two lies plus a whole bundle of ignorance all in one frame. Go ahead and pause this if you want to read all this together, uh, but I'm going to cover pretty much all of it anyway. Jeremiah has used this particular image in two of his videos. Now this is the ignorance part. No, I don't consider it necessarily a lie, even though he's just being stupid about it. Go ahead and read all this stuff. I'll put little comments on there. I'm not gonna go through this uh, uh, in great detail. The lie in this case is actually the captions for the two graphics uh, that he has on there, the two pictures of the earth and their captions on the sides of them. Now let's take a look at the uh, first image. Now this image right here, um, now he's, he, he's, he's making a separate claim here. He's talking about how uh, the landmass of uh, North America is different between the two images. Now that's fine. Uh, it's, there's an obvious difference between the two of them. However, here's the problem. He claims that NASA is claiming that this is a satellite picture taking on, taken on the 8th of January 2012. But claiming that this is a satellite picture, singular, or that NASA is even saying that it's a single satellite picture, is a lie. Not to mention you screwed the date up. This is the actual text that's listed on NASA's website. It does not claim to be a single shot, rather a composite. So nowhere in that is NASA claiming that it is a single shot of the earth from anywhere now let's 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 move on to the second image and this one was really really funny to me this one claims to be a single satellite image taken from uh, what does it say there 1978 apparently taken by nasa single shot photo taken by nasa in 1978 um okay again the same thing NASA doesn't claim that it's a single picture, NASA doesn't portray it as a single picture, and NASA doesn't even say that it is a single picture of the Earth. <laughs> Here's the text. So basically, Jeremiah has lied in two claims on one frame. He's claiming this. Okay, this is... And, and it seems to be his signature background stuff there with the grid on the background. I don't know what that's from. Uh, it's probably a layout in, in whatever uh, editor he's using. So I can only believe that he didn't actually copy this from somebody else. This is his own stuff. So this is these are his claims. Sorry, Jeremiah. That's two lies. And here's another reason why I found it funny that you used that picture. I want to go, FEs love this picture. That was one of the first ones that I ever saw when I was looking at any of these FE videos because of the fact that there are some duplications, some clone work uh, done on there when uh, portions of the Earth either didn't come out right or were even missed when being uh, orbited by the satellite. But again, he lied anyway, saying that it was a photo supposedly from the 70s and saying that NASA claimed that. Yeah, uh, go ahead, man. So now, <laughs> now he covers uh, a classic among the FE people. 
the go fast rocket footage blah 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 times and dates blah 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 okay there's the moon yeah okay it's all good right right however if you read it more carefully he's misrepresenting data again intentionally in writing so that means he's lying let me show you why in his text it says in order to see the moon which we are told is 230,000 miles away okay mind you he quoted 230,000 miles away which means that should be the numbers that he's using uh, considering the curvature of the Earth, the rocket would have to go at least 505 miles high in order to see the moon. Sounds like a, a guy who can crunch some numbers, right? Well, if you actually do the math, that 505 miles, <laughs> that 505 miles is considering that the moon is 3,000 miles high above the actual measurements of the globe. So you're mixing the two things on purpose. Okay, you, you state that the moon is 230,000 miles away. But yet you do the measurements and your math as to what altitude the rocket needed to be to see the moon if the moon was 3,000 miles away from the surface of the globe. That's lying. If you really wanted to do an examination of, a, of anything about the globe and the moon, you have to use the globe measurements to do your work, which looks a little bit like this. But then it doesn't stop there. Okay, this is how you should start a globe claim examination. But then you lied about the placement of the moon regards to the distance. The distance you display here, uh, it also doesn't comply with your 3,000 mile claim. The distance you display here is only about 1,400 miles. Which, if I move the line over, is about the distance from Banyan Nur to Haiku, China. You stated the distance to the moon, then you stated the false result to that distance and then made a graphic that supports neither of them. That makes this a deliberate deception. Therefore, it is... Uh, what other word would you use for it? I, I know you want to say, oh, it was a mistake. No, this is a lie, man. But maybe Jeremiah will get this right on another video. Two days later. This is, a, again, this is how you should start it. Because you got a picture of, well, at least Google Earth. But then again, you lied about the placement of the moon with regards to the distance for the globe model. The distance you display here is about 3,200 miles, which is about the distance, according to this image here, uh, about the distance from Wellington, New Zealand to Adamstown in, in the Pitcairn Islands, whatever the hell that is, somewhere out in the middle of nowhere. I had to, I had to actually look up a distance. And yet your graphic does not, still does not depict the proper distance, which you had stated only two days before. So again, you are t intentionally deceiving, you're going to call it a mistake, you're going to call me a slanderer, I'm still calling it, you're lying. Now this was just a bonus, and uh, I really hope Jeremiah wasn't uh, being serious uh, on, on this next one, but uh, I'll show you a reason why I, I decided to point it out. Now, it's okay to use graphics when you make it aware that you're using graphics. This right here is a transparent GIF or a ping uh, image over that one of those high altitude balloon uh, images uh, that was straightened out. You can also notice the border markers around the image. I wouldn't have pointed this out if he didn't do this just a few seconds later. He writes reality above it. Is it reality? You can't see that that is a simple image probably from a flight simulator or something like that, some kind of image bank of different uh, uh, aircraft models, which is fine, uh, if you are intending on calling it that. However, he writes reality above it. I'm not going to call this, I'm not going to call this one a lie, but at the same time, really? <laughs> Come on, Jeremiah. You got any questions? I mean, this stuff is just all, it, it's, it's not even a difference of opinion at this point. It's telling lies. There is a difference between having a difference of opinion. I don't agree with everybody who, who, who believes in the flat earth. I don't. Okay? I just do not agree. And, but I don't agree based on evidence. And if I don't agree, that doesn't mean that you're lying. That means I don't agree with you. But if you put stuff out deliberately with misinformation on it, then you are lying. Okay? If you came out and told me, you know what, Sly? There's flat. You're, and you're full of it. 
then you and I have a difference of opinion. I might call you mistaken. I might call you a couple of colorful names, but I'm not going to call you a liar because you have not produced something to me that was a lie. Okay, you have produced an opinion which I disagree with. Okay, so you can you you can you can you can twist it around however you want to. You really can, and it's not going to bug me that much. But a lie is a lie. You put out information deliberately that is a lie, then it's a lie. Okay, and me pointing it out to you is not slander because slander actually is also a lie, meaning that I would be telling lies about a person. That's called slandering somebody. I'm not telling lies. Okay, there's nothing in here that wasn't yours. Okay, and to be honest, you really need to get off the airplane thing because airplanes fly with their nose up, nose down, all kinds of wacky things. Has nothing to do with the shape of the earth. It really doesn't. Have a nice day.